Blog Talk Radio. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Mama's Time Out, where real moms come to talk. I'm glad to have you listening, and I hope you enjoy the show. Actually, today um, I will be playing a pre-recorded show because our guest had to cancel. Um, her granddaughter had a baby, or her, I believe it was her daughter had a baby. So um, I will be playing a pre-recorded um, segment for you today, and uh, let me get that going in just a little bit. Um, So we'll have to postpone the breast cancer awareness show with uh, Debbie Marino, the breast diva, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to schedule that again, reschedule that again soon so that um, we can share the information and resources that she has for us um, regarding that, especially considering that this is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and hopefully... um, Everybody has taken the time to get checked out and is doing that on a regular basis. Um, my mom had breast cancer and uh, unfortunately had to go through a double mastectomy and God forbid I have to go through that in the future and anybody else. It, you know, Thankfully she's um, going on I believe five years now of... Uh, of uh, being cancer-free, so from that, so hopefully that continues. It's not something you would wish upon anybody. <laughs> Definitely not. Um, it was not a you know enjoyable experience or comfortable experience. So let me see if I can find the uh, pre-recorded segment I would like to play with you, play for you. Sorry. And uh, how come I don't see it here now? Is this it? I'm trying to find it here in the archives. Um, and this this segment is actually on the uh, upcoming election, and it is a, an important election, as everybody knows. And uh, It's really getting a lot of people involved this year, and it's very heated on both sides. I have been uh, extremely uh, involved with it um, online, trying to uh, raise awareness and what is going on, um, trying to uh, get our uh, country... uh, Raise, you know, raise more awareness on the candidates and the issues that they support, and uh, hopefully, people will vote on conscience, and uh, those who are religious will vote on conscience and consider God's laws before they consider man's laws, because it's it's a critical time in our country's history right now, and many of our rights could be taken away if a certain president, presidential candidate is elected. So it's critical that everybody votes and becomes educated in this election and learn as much as they can about both candidates and, you know, like I said, vote for the conscience because this is a critical time. It's not just about, you know, the economy, environment, and things like that, which are all very important. But this is also about humanity, um, the future of our democracy, and what we, what our country stands for, what it was founded on. So uh, I think it's something that we all need to make sure we uh, become informed voters about. So uh, where is that? That's one of my things that I've been working hard to try and and, uh, do is educate people about what's going on. And sadly, I'm finding a lot of people, you know, have have, uh, their mindset and they're not taking into consideration um, the true values our country was based on. And they're not respecting 
you know, those values and, and those people who who still support those values and there's been, you know, violence and, act, and, and uh, criminal acts committed already against people who oppose um, their views. And I'm talking about uh, incidents that have recently occurred in the news um, concerning one woman who was hit over the head with her sign because she was supporting uh, John McCain. So she was assaulted, basically, and that's not right. You know, and this kind of behavior needs to stop, and I know the other side says that the, uh, the uh, McCain side is also violent or inciting violence and hate and racism, and it's nothing to do with that. I think it's just that everybody's very passionate about what's going on and what's at stake here. And sadly, uh, trying to uh, to uh, get people to understand sometimes some people lose their patience and, you know, resort to violence or, or criminal acts, which is not acceptable. And I definitely don't condone that. So let me find this. Where to go? Find this program or this uh, show that I would like to share with you, and uh, get that running. Uh, I had it. Now where did it go? Uh, well, if I can't find it, I'll just um, make sure it's active in the archives so that it can be listened to. Uh, had it and now I don't see it. What the heck? Okay. Let me try that again. Oh, okay, it saved it over there. Uh, okay, bear with me. Uh, running just a little bit behind today, and then uh, now having this problem finding this. I just got short notice on um, uh, the guest having to cancel. So let me go ahead and load this up. And hopefully it will play. Otherwise, I'll just uh, make sure it's activated in the archive so that you can listen to it later. <sighs> Sometimes I just technical difficulties. Um, Unfortunately, I've had to cancel a couple shows recently because of time confusion as well, but hopefully this one will work now. Let me see if I can find it. I uploaded it. Let me see. Hmm. Let me see. Where did it go? Did it submit or not? No, it's still submitting it. So while that's submitting, um, I guess I could share some uh, resources on the election that, that uh, you can go to to learn more about what's going on and become a better informed voter. And some of those sites include, of course, Senate.gov find out which views each candidate has voted on and support. So Senate.gov is an important one. And then uh, if you're concerned about the voter fraud going on, there is a petition available to sign to petition Congress to have the votes verified. And that can be found online at, oh boy, let me get that one. Uh, 
if you're a uh, Wall Street Journal reader, the Justice Department has um, there's an article um, according to the Wall Street Journal that mentions the um, some information about the eight of the 19 hijackers from 9-11 were registered to vote courtesy of ACORN. So this uh, ACORN really needs to be investigated and shut down. Um, the government has been supporting a criminal organization. So you definitely need to uh, sign the petition on that. And I don't know if they are aware of all this. But I don't understand why these things are going on in this country, um, where, our, where our country is gone. But oh, I hate to see it get worse. And that's why I'm going to share this show with you today. Let me see if it loaded. Okay. It's processing still. So while that's processing on the upload... I will uh, look for a couple more sites to go to. Uh, I know there's one at obamacrimes.com, which is regarding a lawsuit um, against Barack Obama and him um, verifying his his valid birth certificate with the court. Uh, he rather dismissed the case than actually come forward with one. I know that uh, there's been one posted online before that has now been removed, as far as I know, that uh, was invalid, that was forged, and they are requesting his vaulted birth certificate um, because there's a question about his citizenship. And instead of just coming forward with it, he is fighting to dismiss this case. And I mean... Any innocent, you know, citizen of this country, I think, would come forward with something like that. So it doesn't make sense. There's, you know, lots of things to question. And then, um, well, let me just finish the loading. It's going to take too long, I think. Well, I might have to just go ahead and, uh, Activated in the archives, but the uh, petition to sign for Congress to verify the ACORN votes is at rallycongress.com. It's an easy form for you to submit and fill out. So uh, make sure you do that if you are concerned about the integrity of the election process in our country and, uh, you know, making your vote count because this is just insanity, the stuff that's going on. And... Uh, just yesterday, I believe, they confirmed there has actually been actual voter fraud um, in Ohio where uh, people have voted on, through an online source that allowed them to vote online without showing any identification as long as they were registered to vote by ACORN. So, you know, there's just too much shady stuff going on and... This is an important election, and our and people just aren't taking it seriously, and it's it's getting out of hand, and it needs to be looked into, and our our laws and our constitution need to be upheld and respected. So, I hope that you will participate, become an informed voter, and make sure that you uh, stand up for our country and what our country stands for and was founded on, and. Uh, make your vote count and, uh, you know, hopefully you will not support the, uh, the uh, criminal acts that are going on across the country where the FBI is investigating the ACORN fraud going on and uh, hopefully they get shut down and we, we no longer support our tax dollars to organizations like this because this is outrageous and... Uh, I know Senator Obama has said that he worked for ACORN in the past. I mean, he represented them as their lawyer um, in lawsuits, threatening uh, lawsuits against banks when they didn't, you know, if they wouldn't uh, 
you know, provide home loans to the poor who couldn't afford the loans, yet they threatened them with racism and, and, uh, and lawsuits. So then the subprime loans were issued, which allowed loans, banks to provide loans to people who couldn't afford them, which then led to the economic crisis we're in now. And uh, as, as you'll research, you'll find that the Republican Party and the Republican candidate, Senator McCain, did try to uh, get some regulations enforced um, twice back in, I believe, 2003 and 2005, but our Democratic Congress did not support it and uh, said everything was fine between Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, and this is not true as we know today. There was a downfall coming, and they were warned about it, and they did nothing about it. And, you know, now all these pe- now everybody, you know, including myself, are suffering the consequences of this, and this is outrageous. So we need to speak up for what is right and what is wrong, and hopefully the uh, these congressmen and CEOs will be investigated and and uh, to the full extent of the law, you know, that the law is enforced because this is just outrageous what's going on, and it's you know our money is being stolen basically out of our hands and our people's savings and and uh, retirement. So something needs to be done. And I hope that you will take a stand and stand for what is right and do the right thing and sign the petition and uh, contact your local representatives, contact your local newspapers and news stations and raise more awareness about this because a lot of this isn't all, you know, being reported clearly in the mainstream news and not everybody is aware of everything that is going on and the issues that are, you know, not being reported on that could, you know, take away what this country was founded on. So become involved, uh, sign the petition, and share your knowledge with others so that they can become informed voters as well. And I guess that's all for today because I can't get this um, loaded in time, so I'll try to activate it in the archives, and hopefully I can reschedule the guest, um, Debbie, for a future show and or have a pre-recorded segment play in the future um, regarding the breast cancer awareness topic and what her organization does. So I appreciate you listening and tuning in. And uh, let's see, I'll be back again um, the first week of November, on November 2nd. And our guest scheduled then is Trisha Goyer, who wrote a book on Generation Xers, which should be very interesting, learning about the perspective of our young adults who are, some of them, for the first time voting in their first presidential election. And I hope that they are becoming informed voters and not just, you know, getting their information off of the TV because that's not, you know, where you're going to find it all and it's not going to provide an unbiased view. So make sure you, as parents, educate your your uh, 18, 19-year-olds who are going to be new voters this year to become informed voters and research it and you know, do it together, make it a family activity to become involved in the process and become aware. So I hope that you'll do that. And again, I'll be back then in November with our next show and our next guest on Generation Xers. So talk to you then and make sure you call us live at 646-595-4516 for that show or you can log into the chat or click the link to call in for free from the main page here at blogtalkradio.com slash news, And make sure you join us over at mamastimeout.com in our social network for moms of all ages and stages. And I look forward to uh, having you join us. 
And also, um, this week I am concluding the uh, dinosaur ticket giveaway for the Dinosaur Live con- um, dinosaur live uh, event. So make sure you go to the blog at littlebikesnews.blogspot.com for information on winning tickets, family four-pack tickets to that. It's a great show, great family event, and the tickets are valued at, you know, anywhere from $50 to $100 each. So it's not a cheap show to see. So, you know, and during this, these economic times, it's a good, you know, a good thing to uh, get signed up for our newsletter, uh, our blog at littlebikesnews.blogspot.com and get an entry to win the tickets. And I will announce the winner by the end of this week, possibly next week. Um, I may extend the contest one more week. I'll, I'll see um, and let you know. So either way, you need to be registered um, on the site as a subscriber so that you can get entered to win. So I hope that you'll do that. And uh, good luck. And I will draw a name in the next week. So have a good day. Have a have a great rest of your weekend and enjoy your week. This um, is Mama's Time Out saying goodbye and talk to you next time. Love Talk Radio. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Mama's Time Out, where real moms come to talk. I'm listening, and I hope you enjoy the show today. Again, for new listeners, I'm Patty, owner of LittleBikesNews.com, GiftsPartySuppliesAndMore.com, MamasTimeOut.com, and WAHBusinessDirectory.com where we offer shopping, child development, parenting resources, and low-cost advertising. You can find party supplies, gift ideas, and more, along with our social network and live support call-in shows for moms. And I am a former elementary teacher turned stay-at-home, work-at-home mom, and mom of two boys. Today, I will be talking to our special guest, Yana Berlin, who is the founder of Fabulously 40, and she will be talking to us about ways to take a mama's time out, um, activities and hobbies for moms to take care of yourself, which is something I haven't been doing too good at lately, and I, I've been so involved in our election process lately and the whole uh, political debate um, that I have been taking a break so to speak, from my online ventures. And uh, I look forward to talking with Yana today and look forward to getting some ideas from her so that after all the stress of this election time passes, um, I will start thinking about more ways of taking a mama's time out and getting back to the gym again and uh, taking care of me so that I don't feel as stressed as I have been, I guess, the last couple of weeks. We're getting, you know, as you know, we're getting really close to the election day on November 4th, and we'll be electing our new president. And, you know, I've been doing a lot of research on both and have heard very, you know, lots of, lots of different things. And the mainstream media doesn't tell you everything. So I have taken it upon myself to get more educated about this election and who the candidates are, and and I just found that uh, one particular candidate has too many uh, interests that conflict with my beliefs and values and that of our own Constitution. Um, Mr. Obama also plans to enact the Freedom of Choice Act as soon as he is elected president which will take away parental rights to be notified of a, of a teenage abortion, take away the father's rights, take away the state's rights 
take away um, the option to educate moms about alternatives to abortion, and he's just too extreme, too extreme for me on that alone. Not to mention he has um, already attempted to, uh, uh, let's see, I guess, have his uh, truth squad go after people in the political scene. I don't know, my phone 